Hi there. I'm Keith Webster and I'm going to be the instructor for EDDL uh, 5101 uh, for this semester, this fall at Thompson Rivers University. I'm an instructional designer and educational technologist up at the University of Victoria where I work in distance education. And I also teach educational technology for pre-service teachers in the Faculty of Education there. So. I live here in Victoria with my wife and kids. Uh, one uh, son is in elementary school and a daughter who's just going into middle school. And I did have a brief t stint uh, teaching in the K-12 system myself. But these days I am mostly in my day job working with uh, post-secondary instructors who are going to put their uh, lessons and uh, curriculum out over the internet to reach students at a distance. So this course is intended to be about online learning. And so I know many people will take this course because they're interested in learning more about technology because they can use it in their on-campus class or the face-to-face -face class and uh, maybe they have an interest in online learning. But we'll be approaching it from the point of view of online learning because anything that you've designed or developed to be used in online learning where you can't expect the students or uh, learners to be able to contact you face to face is going to transfer well as a supplement or as something that you can use in face to face learning but the reverse isn't true so we will be focusing on online learning in this course um, you'll have noticed by now that the course isn't in Blackboard we're using the WordPress uh, blog system to mount both the course materials and as a place for each of you to uh, interact with materials, produce things, uh, discuss things, um, and uh, push your own content up on the web. And there's a few reasons for this. One of them is that uh, this is a tool that you can use later on wherever you go. Your school district or your institution might not have a uh, learning management system like Blackboard or Moodle but it's always possible to get uh, a WordPress blog through EduBlogs or WordPress.com or if you're a little more adventurous by installing your own uh, WordPress in, uh, in a server that you either have or can hire. Also, using the WordPress blog means you're able to experiment a lot more with things that you're doing and you're able to be uh, uh, more the author of your own content and put it out there in ways that um, are designed and developed specifically for the context that you're trying to uh, use it for. So the tool is just more malleable. This leads us to the open nature of this course. So as it stands, these blogs are set to be open and everything we're going to do is going to be open in that if anybody were to stumble upon it on the internet, it's out there uh, to be seen. That doesn't mean that we can't take some discussions or some elements of the course and make them private just to uh, members of the course, but our default is going to start as open. And this can be a little strange for some people depending on the context in, what they, in which they've been teaching. Um, but I think there's a lot of value to it because in this field of educational technology there is an awful lot of knowledge of uh, uh, tools, resources that have been developed and the basic premise behind almost all of it has been that it's developed in a way that is open for everybody else to come in and see and try and use and improve upon uh, and provide advice about. So uh, this is the culture of people who are working in the forefront of educational technology. Now this course uh, as I've said, is going to be handling the context both of K-12 education and post-secondary education. Um, in the past, there has been uh, probably a majority of people who are teaching in the K-12 context, but I'd be interested to see what, interested to see what happens with this uh, course. Are you people going to be more post-secondary? Are there more people in the K-12 setting? Um, let me know because I can bring in more context from one or the other if that's where the interest lies. Now, the last thing I just mentioned is that some of the course materials on the site are still in development. Uh, the nature of this topic is that there will be things that will be announced, released, discovered uh, during this semester 
that uh, will be vital tools for someone in this course in the years ahead. So things will always be refreshed, always new things coming in. Um, but more specifically, about the first half of the course, I've gone through and had a good thrashing out and made sure links work and made sure that readings are still relevant and that. And the second half of the course, I'm still working on and perhaps uh, a few different topics here or there that might uh, change just a little bit. So don't go printing off the whole thing, okay? And the same thing for the assignments. Uh, I think everything's going to stay the way they're shown on the site, but there is uh, one, the, the, the last major assignment, that might change slightly. So I hope that you find the course um, insightful and that it answers the questions and the, the things that you think you really need to learn about technology for your teaching context. Um, I invite you to also, if you think there's something you're not getting or something that you want to learn about, bring it up and uh, we'll see if we can fit it into this course. Uh, because 